And guys, on this team tonight, we'll see both Shammy Wells and DJ on the floor. Wells has taken DJ under his wing and acted like a mentor to him. Just how much does that help in the NBA? Well, I'm not sure if Shammy Wells is the best choice, but it's nice to see him stick the guy, you know, with a guy. But What's DJ wrong with Shammy? Well, they, DJ doesn't need anybody. Because DJ's a better everybody player. Everybody needs somebody, no, Kenny. No, DJ needs no Kenny, one. Kenny, everybody Listen. needs somebody. But you're not supposed to go through this life thinking you have to do it all on your own. It's good to have a wingman, isn't it? I agree. A lot of greats have had mentors early in their career. Duncan had Robinson. Samson had Akeem. And most recently, KG with Carl Anthony Towns. But Who was yours, Kenny? Or are you saying you went it alone? No, I was a mentor. There had to be somebody who helped you, I was you, a Kenny. mentor's mentor. A mentor's mentor? Yes. That is... <laughs> Such a bunch of, <laughs> where's that? Uh, and did you eat Mentos? <laughs> You're a mentor's mentor. No doubt. Did you have some? All right, welcome back to a new plays NBA 2K18. The last game, Scotty D had 16 points in the first half. And the coach said he's going to get some more playing time. Let's hope that's true. Let's go. find something uh, I'm just looking around you know what I'm saying I've never been behind the scenes before on this NBA thing I was on the flow yo it's not bad right not bad at all you know I'm gonna be there one day you know what I'm saying with the lights on me everybody chanting my name like be 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 fresh fresh be 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 fresh see buddy gotta get the elbows I'm, on my I'm cheek working on those elbows. Elbows in the blue. Yeah. oh my the gosh blue, you know what I'm saying that's what I'm talking about anyway I'm looking for DJ he's got his phone uh, he's oh DJ what's up your phone playboy what's up can I help you Excuse me, this is a restricted area. Yo, yo, before you get all super aggressive in my face, I'm B Fresh, a.k.a. DJ's right-hand woman, a.k.a. your mama's best friend, your daddy's worst nightmare. You probably heard me. Yeah, that doesn't tell me what you're doing right here. Where's Mr. Thompson? Hey, hey, hey. Hannah, Hannah, it's all good. B Fresh, just brought me my phone. It's all good. See? Hey, Char, hold on to this while I do yes. my warm-up. Yeah, man. Charlie's going to hold on to that, and then he's going to escort Miss Fresh right to the exit. Jesus Christ. Snap. Hey, look, In other words, get the heck out. Does he know her? Yeah, he's in her improv group. Fresh lettuce. <laughs> Fresh lettuce. That holds the team together, DA. I'm sure it's not Steph Curry that holds the team teammates. together. Early in the Let's go. Season here, some teams well, lost the last but game. Scotty D uh, never got in the second half. He had 16 points Let's in the first half. Played pretty well. To, to get that Let's see if we right can direction. improve. Well, I guess it depends on the players that you're, you're looking at, Kevin. And if you we're made off. a move in the offseason with a veteran guy who you thought was going to do. Celtics leading by four. And here is Irving. His last out and we saw him pour in 22. Morris kicks to Irving. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one right. more free throw. Line. And one. Attacking the rag to great effect. Well, 13 well, seven early in the game. Summers. For Boston, they have gone three for three at the line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Okay, so play some tight sure defense here. Anything that he does out there offensively, always in control, doesn't rush all that much. Very good at running the offense. Pass to Durant. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. Well, for a long time, most media guys had Kevin Durant listed at 6'9". Most players and fans knew, Brent, that that was dated information from when Durant first joined the league. Got my first rebound. All right. Since entering the NBA. It took a while for Kevin Durant to actually admit to the fact that he was seven feet tall in shoes. So we finally have that tidbit of information uh -huh. that's so critical to whether or not Kevin Durant is a good player or a great player, right? I'm kidding, Kevin. Kyrie <laughs> yes. taking well, it to the hoop. We've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pass to Thompson. He feeds it to Green. 17 foot shot on the way. Mm. And it's Durant, that time on the assist by Green. 
Hard to find a player with better mid-range accuracy than Durant, especially for the amount of shots that he takes. Here's the monster. Oh, get up. Warriors trail by six. That's the layup. Iguodala up top. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Livingston dishes to Durant. From outside, off the mark. Well, it's like the defense has a bunch of matchbooks in their hands right now, playing with fire. They were fortunate that somehow he misfired on that one. Here's Wells. Oh, come on, Shammy. Golden State's gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Thompson passes to Iguodala. Durant with it. Guarded now by Morris. Nice work there coming off the screen. Livingston's got his first two points. On the pick and roll, you almost have to play Durant to shoot. But his ability to create opportunities for others is also elite. Irving for three. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his <sighs> rebound tonight. All right, keep playing. Over in the corner, Pressure Livingston. Off. This one for three. And it's Durant. Yeah, Michigan. no way, dude. Get his mind. The Celtics, it was a loss to the Nets in Brooklyn. And, and you know what? A shame that either team had to lose that game because you had to be proud of the way. Oh, uh, come on. Who knocked you that down? One sticks with you for a little while. They worked so hard to hang in there. Where's the foul? At the end Where's of the foul, that one, forced the OT and then to have it slip away had to hurt. There's a chance he could go for a big game if they don't D him up on the perimeter. Irving kicks to Tatum. Right wing. Beyond the arc, hands it from downtown. All right. Wells has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. A little tit for tat action going on on the back to back trade. Yeah, a little gamesmanship from range could force both defenses to maybe extend out a little further. Bucket is good. Yeah, a uh, defense. Um, this is your coach calling. Could you find Clay Thompson? Thank you. <laughs> the Celtics with the lead. Morris outside. From downtown, and a shot by Wells, no good. Shammy, you're 0 for 2 from threes, man. That time around, just lucky he was off. Livingston dishes to Green. Kicks it out to Iguodala. Back to Green. Outside Durant, pocket six. And he misses the go-ahead. Give me that board. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on. And you what was that, man? That's going to play moving forward. Now here's Livingston. He's covered by Irving. Livingston with it. Over Irving. And the Warriors tack on two more. Great form on Irving's <coughs> jump shot there. He knows he's got the green light in the middle. Let's get Scott in the offense here. This is it to the monster. In the corner, it's Morris. Pick and roll, pick and roll. Oh, what the heck? Shammy. All right. Insist. Six points for Shammy Wells. He's got just enough separation to let that one fly. So comfortable from long range. Livingston passes to Durant. Green with a screen on Morris. Durant kicks to Green. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. All right. Green's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Terrific team play as Draymond <clears throat> was willing to give up his body to get a teammate open. Kicks to Tatum. Pass to the monster. Down low. Oh, with bad, the steal. bad pass. A little slow on the uptake there. It's Durant on the wing. Over Morris. No good trying to beat the buzzer. Tie game in Boston. All right, no points. And don't go away. We'll be back. But here's DJ speaking on the guidance he's received from Shammy Wells. Well, more than anything this season, Shammy's been a real mentor. Um, ever since I, I first stepped foot in training camp, Shammy claimed me as his brook, and he's been teaching me the ropes ever since. I mean, yeah, he likes to have fun with it, but uh, I really feel like he offers a unique perspective in the league, and I've learned a lot from him since. So, Shammy, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. 
You get the feeling that Jimmy Wells has matured right, so from quarter. their relationship. Yeah, if you ask the which player on this team would take DJ under their wing, one of the last answers you'd get would be Shammy Wells. But it seems like he's turned over a new leaf. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And the Celtics guys, what jumps out to you? Stats one. I mean, really oh, good they with their close presence, and it's really allowed them to establish a physical tone here in the first. Well, they're attacking the rim in more than one way, and with that kind of success, you feel like the defense is going to make the adjustment. Then you start playing inside out. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So trying for the to do it. Warriors trying to right get now, open. Iguodala out there with rest. And there's Livingston. And it's Young. And it's Curry in at the one. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the <clears> and will shoot too. Last season, Steph Curry got off to a slow start. And I guarantee you, a lot of players would have loved his slow start. But eventually, got it going. Celtics leading by four. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Guys, Kevin Durant is a unique player. Ron James said he's a seven-footer with six-foot ball handling skills, a jump shot, and athleticism. It's never been done in our league. Never had a guy that's seven foot and can do all that, so it sets him apart. Kevin, I'm six feet tall, and I can broadcast. <laughs> you can, and you can write, and by the way, you're in the Hall of Fame. D.A., thank you. Durant with the steal. Great day. Two Long turnovers. The shot by Curry, no good. Brent thinking of Curry and how much better he was as the season went on. A lot of that had to do with him feeling more comfortable, it seemed, with Kevin Durant. Well, so much talk, Kevin, about the Christmas Day game and Kevin Durant stepping over to Steph Curry and telling him, look, be you, be aggressive. And from that point forward last year, it felt like the Warriors just took off. And All right, we got to resume that MVP caliber play. And that's just too easy, too big, we got some too points. far inside. And that's as simple as it gets. This is it to Thompson. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Smart. One thing with Clay Thompson, Brent, when he gets it going, he recognizes it and looks to take over games. You saw it when he led that huge comeback for the Warriors in the 2016 playoffs against the Thunder, and you saw it when he went for 37 points in a quarter. There are just a few players in the league that can do some of the things, especially when they're hot like Clay Thompson does. I even think back to last year during the finals, Clay Thompson struggling offensively and then all of a sudden coming up with a huge first quarter where he scored 16 points against the Cavs to help get the Warriors going. Shot clock at six. Irving against Kirk. No good from Irving. Yeah, the defense cannot afford to too be far under the basket lazy. there. You got to be up on the shooters at all times, especially at the mid range. Moving against Curry. Back to Thompson. Over Smart. Misses off the left iron. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Oh, here's the three. Oh, I had the dunk and I passed it. Damn it. Man, I hate it when I take a point out of my mouth. You gotta feed yourself. Here we go. The Monsters got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Take it, Shammy. Here's Wells. No good on the shot. Excellent D here by Igudala. Yeah, even though he's been off, the team's still winning. So the hope is that he's going to get going. Curry outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Igudala. And it's 13 points for Steph Curry. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Wells in the corner. There's the screen. In the corner, smart with it. Pass to the monster. And the layup's good. Yes. The All right. 
Yeah. Lamont's has got it all tied up now for the Celtics. Golden State's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Green. Excellent defense for And I got the board. Yeah, I think the defense made an impact on that play, making the shooter feel a bit uncomfortable on release. Irving passes to the monster. That one good for there two. There we go. Six points. The monsters got good six feed. points in the quarter. Gary, good feed. On a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. Durant kicks to Curry. Thompson outside from deep three-point range and another three for Golden State. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. To the paint, stolen by Durant. Oh, come on, man. And here we go. Where's your eyes, man? Up the court. Here's Green. And wide open. Some solid defense there from Irving. You gotta make that. The defense was hard <laughs> and terrible, but man, that's an easy shot. It's been all about all right. Curry for the Golden <clears throat> Do I get back in in the second half? That's Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second. Halftime stats. 6.6 6 rebounds, 1 assist. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Really an incredible game. And a whole new group All right, I actually get Celtics. to play in the second half. Look here Love for it. The Warriors. West is checked in for Pachulia. Iguodala comes in for Green. Nick Young's checked in for Kevin Durant. And it's Livingston in for Curry. We've got Tatum. The monster out there with Marcus Morris. Then there's what Wells. And it's Brown in at the two guard. That's the Boston Five. Oh, I got that. Somebody got that. Wells passes to the monster. The Celtics working the ball around now. In the corner, it's Morris. I know this is supposed Just to be my to shots. Shoot. The pass to the monster. West with the steal. Oh, freaking turnover. And Young Damn it. To Thompson. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Jesus. Thompson's got We're down by 18. In the quarter. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Morris passes to the monster. Morris kicks to Wells. Dish now to Brown. Pass to the monster. Six on the shot clock. Put it up. Morris into the lane. A second chance effort, and he knocks down the jump. All right. Morris Got an assist. Seven points in the game. Offensive rebound, even though I could have probably stuffed it and keep hitting the wrong button. Morris. Some of his best shots come from about that 12 to 20 foot range. Young dishes to West. There's the pick. Thompson against Brown. Thompson misses. Give me that boy. Celtics trail by 16. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Oh, that's terrific defense. Uh, there. That's how you protect the rim. Young with no one around. No good on the three. You give me for Don't give me the ball. Three point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Wells kicks to Morris. On the wing, Brown. He's covered by Thompson. Wells wide open. And the three off. Ah. Warriors leading by Gotta learn 16. how to get better position. You know, so many people were surprised nope. at the Kyrie Irving trade, but throughout the decades, Boston's been unafraid to pull the trigger. I mean, they moved up to number two to draft the great Bill Russell, moving back to number three to draft Mikhail at Parrish, assembling the big three for a championship, then dismantling that big three for all those unprotected picks. This is an organization oh, you're that kidding stops me. at nothing to try and win titles. That got it. Young outside. Dishes a doing it out. Off target from three point range. And you know, thinking about Kyrie's legacy here in Boston, this is a town that cares only about championships. That's how his contribution is going to be measured. Stuff it. Only time will tell if he can walk in All the right. shoes of the greatest players to ever put on eight points. Uniform. 
And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, terrific performance, really sink on both sides. Do I get back in? I do, I get back in. And we're getting slaughtered. Boston's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And Golden State looking at who they've got. Durant and Draymond Green, talented forward duo. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backcourt. And it's Pachulia in at the center, mm. filling out the middle. It seems to be Should've forcing that board, just man. a little Should've bit that out board. there. He needs to play a little calmer, a little smarter, with a little bit more poise if they're going to win this one. Us. And until someone stops him, He's just going to continue to keep firing They're from killing us. Yeah, we got to be a DEFCON 1 here because at this point, he is so dialed in. You got to get him off his spot. Rozier, the pass to Hayward. Passes it to the monster. The basket good off here the we go. from Hayward. Hayward's got three assists tonight. Oh, excellent work getting that close to the basket. Got to be happy getting those type of shots. Picked by Pachulia. Curry dishes to Pachulia. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Pachulia's got four points in the quarter. I guess that was my Boston, guy. Boston, they've gone four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Feeds it to Hayward. Inside, it's tipped. Come on, do you get the pass up. Here's Rozier, guarded by Kirk. Ray, you played all four years in college after redshirting your freshman season. What kind of advantage, as you look back on that, do you think it gave you, if any, in preparing for the pressures and the style of the NBA? I don't know so much, Kevin, if it gave me an advantage with regards to the pressures of the league, but certainly with regards to the physicality of the league, it's something that I desperately needed. Just a late developer, a late bloomer, I think I was about 175 pounds when I went off to college. Mm. Not a preferential playing weight for the NBA. So <laughs> I needed that year just in terms of the maturity of what I needed physically. Pick by West. With the floater. Get out of here. Get out of here. Here's Boston. The fast break and at the rim with the jam. There's your run out. Points on the fast break. individual play. Yeah, beats the transition defense up the floor, and then the easy finish. Boy, those feel good. Livingston kicks to McCaw. During the pre-draft process, Brent, we're seeing more and more players refuse to work out for certain teams and for a variety of reasons. How would you feel about drafting a player who declined to work out for you? I think I'd feel much better, Kevin, if I had a tremendous track Man, we're record down by 27. and confidence in the scouts that I have deployed throughout the season who've gone out and seen these players, not just once or twice, but 10 or 12 times over, where we could still make the assumption about what this player can do for our organization there without we go. having some personal time hook. or the individualized workout. So it's up to your staff to do their diligence. Livingston passes to West. Back to Livingston. Tries again. It's rebounded by the Monsters. That time. The Monsters got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Shoots from the baseline. Again, the Celtics good for two. Really well done there. Just confident and comes Got a double double. Never in a hurry. Livingston kicks to McCaw. Now, here's Livingston. He's guarded closely. Oh, oh man, let that go. Oh, with the dunk. Persistence from Pachulia. Say that five times fast, Kevin. The Celtics have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. And the pass to the monster. Nice ball movement by Boston. <laughs> And Brent, in your younger years, right, you going, to, course, play going to the line. State Warriors. You have connections with the Bay Area, certainly. Any Here's one of my weaknesses. The old Warriors team play? Well, of course, Kevin, I was a ball boy when I was four years old, and I remember getting I didn't into even the see locker the meter. room, and, you know, having a chance to get on the practice court and riding to the arena with my dad. And, and then my Yo, years right, in high school, one. when I made my way there to watch run TMC right, and spent down by my summers with Chris with a Mullen, trying to get myself ready left. for the NBA. I love the Bay Area. I love where I'm from, and 
I have to admit it. Uh, I love the Warriors. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Warriors. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Steph Curry. Well, he really contributed down there on the offensive end. Seemed like he was hitting anything he was putting up. McCaw kicks to Pachulia. No good. Get that boy. And it's Boston the other way. Now Wells, he's feeling it. That short. short off the rim. Uh, that was not Just a good shot. One second between the shot clock and game clock, and the foul on the monster. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. <laughs> I think he's saying something to me. No good on the free throw. Well, after nearly being out of the league, Livingston has found an incredible role. A true warrior. Good on the second free throw. 19 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Wells kicks to Brown. Pass to the monster. And count it. And a chance for one more. In the All right. Line. Yeah, chance to match my high score here. And still get it to fall. On the free throw, ah. no good. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This All right, well, by the manner in which their team we got schooled. Dismantled. You know what? Shocking. We got school, 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 school. Lost by 20. <laughs> all right, fans go up to, Oh, man. That's all the fans I got? Yeah, it was disappointing. Disappointing. Crazy how fast they turn on you, huh? That's how it goes, Jug. Hey, man, they're going to love us again. We just got to get that W next time. They better. I can't take this anymore. Hold up. You know Hannah doesn't want you in there after games. I know, I know. I was just trying to cheer up DJ about that loss. And by cheer me up, he means bring me down even more, boo. -boo. Okay. Well, then you so can get Jug. I know you try. Right. Sorry, DJ. I better get back to the cleanup crew. Dude, he's a good kid. He wears his heart on his sleeve. Yeah, I can't even fault him. You know, you a wise man, DJ. DJ son. And you played a great game. Keep Thanks. your head up. Okay, I think I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, it was not a successful game for us. Uh, DJ, or, yeah, DJ, Scotty D, uh, as I know him, uh, Played well. He scored 15 points, had uh, at least 10 rebounds. He had a double-double. So, yeah. All right. Well, if you liked the episode, leave a like. If you're not yet subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. And we'll catch you next time on A Noob Plays NBA 2K18. We're out. Thanks.